Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. Taking a go out today since it came out today, so things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, some of the big things that are coming out is the the film The Marksman. Uh, also, uh, Saw is coming out for the first time on 4K. Uh, Shrek is coming out for the first time on 4K as well. Also the movie uh, Land is releasing. I know there's a couple other things uh, as well, uh, but you know, uh, also though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video. And and as always, too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs and Blu-rays that I reviewed, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, well, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. Well, let's take a look here in the front and see if there's anything new. And I actually do see one new thing changed out. Like I always say in this section right here, this is like usually always the same stuff. And every so often they make some changes in here. Like these ones were last, I think were last week or the week before, Judas and the Black Messiah and the little things. But uh, the one that I know that was today, this is one of the ones that I forgot that was today. Uh, Justice Society World War II, the new DC Universe movie. Uh, that one released today. I know there's a 4K as well for this one. I don't know if they have a special. There's a lot of times with the Warner Brothers ones that are the DC ones, they have like one that comes with a figure with them, which is sometimes exclusive to, I, I've seen it sometimes, I think I've seen it in here, but usually Best Buy has those ones, but I don't know if there's going to be an exclusive one of that one. Other than that though, right here in the front, I don't think it's anything else changed out here. Let's see if there's anything else here on the side. I always check, usually it's the same things and everything for the most part. Let's just check right over here too, just to see. Yeah, it seems to be all the same stuff here, nothing different. But we'll head over to the actual section though and see anything different that they put out over there though. Yeah, but uh, in there though, it was really weird. Like a lot of the um, the prices on things were coming up like they seem to be wrong on the labels. Like I've seen that there in the past, but it was funny like today, all the labels on the things in the section seemed like wrong. Like when I was scanning them, like they were showing weird prices like $30.99 for the, for the, um, for the marksman. And I scanned it and it showed, um, you know, $24.99. But in the actual section though, they had like new new things wise. They had the Justice one that I showed. They had the 4K one. Uh, they also, like I was saying, had the Marksman. As well as, I didn't even know they were having a Fast and Furious 4K Steelbook. So they had a 4K Steelbook for Fast and Furious, as well as a 4K Steelbook for um, the other one with Shrek. So they had that one as well. But yeah, right now though, you know, right after I do this video though, I'm kind of like doing the video quick today because I'm driving up to Los Angeles, like literally right when I'm done this video and it's uploaded and everything, and going to uh, shoot Scream Bloody Murder, which is the film that I'm directing, the first feature film I'm directing. So it's a real surreal experience. And thanks again, guys, for you guys who are helping on the Indiegogo campaign and all that stuff. I really appreciate that so much and making this dream come true to get to do this. Because like I said, the, the people too that are coming to be in the project is, I'm so excited about this cast and everything. We have like such cool people in there. So it's time, like I said, I'm really, really excited. Cannot wait to do this. But now though, I'm gonna head over to Walmart down this way. So we'll see, hopefully Walmart has some new stuff out. You know what I mean? But I only get to go to the one today, so I won't be able to go to any other locations. But fingers crossed, hopefully something is out in there. Into Walmart we go. Well, taking a look here though in the actual section though, and I don't see anything new. I see like, you see the ad for it, you know, Justice League World War II, I mean, or, sorry, Justice Society World War II. I keep wanting to say Justice League, but no, they have the sign for it, but it's, none of this stuff is out. It's all the stuff in the past couple weeks. Is there the place for, no, the spots are here too. These were the stuff that was last Tuesday, and I still don't see those things out. So yeah, I don't see anything over here. On this side though, I was in here a couple days ago and did see a few other things though that were not added from the past couple weeks. I think some of the stuff was last Tuesday they randomly put in here I saw. Let me see if I can figure out which was the ones that were different that I saw. There was a couple ones up here like this one here, Friends of Shabbat. Uh, that one there, I know that one's new. It's $69.99 for the, I guess the Blu-ray and then $11.96 for the DVD. And this one here, Chinese Speaking Vampires, I believe that was a new one. Uh, these ones are still not out yet. The Rise of the Mummy, that was the one that I have a thing in, a scene in. Uh, Painkiller still isn't out, but they do have this other one here called Cerebum, Cerebrum, Cerebrum, I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong right now. <laughs> Cerebium or something that, Cere I'm saying it so wrong right now because I'm kind of crapped out. Uh, the Blue Call, uh, that one on 996, that was Brian Farmer directed that. He, I worked with him on uh, Waking Nightmare. So there's like a vlog from a while back on, on set with me and Danny where we were in like a jail cell from um, the other movie that um, Brian Farmer had directed, I think right before that one. But other than that though, taking a look in here, seeing if there's anything else 
different mixed in in here just making sure because sometimes like i said randomly you see new things in here that are just kind of all of a sudden randomly in here like i think this is another one of the newer ones here this one called senior entourage and that one looked kind of fun here uh that one was 9.96 for that one uh, and I think there's another one, um, Roe versus Wade. That was another one there uh, that's not out yet. But yeah, when it comes to the things from today, none of the new stuff, I don't see Saul or any of that. And I think they would have probably had Saul, but we'll uh, head over to Best Buy though and see if they have anything uh, over there now. Into Best Buy we go. So we're gonna head back and see what's new. Like right here though, like I'm seeing, like right here on the rack here on this side, I'm not seeing anything new. Oh no, I'm seeing one new thing here, uh, Justice Society World War II. So that's $22.99 for the Blu-ray and then $27.99 for the 4K of that one. Other than that though, there in the front are these ones, what does it say here? Like Soul Steelbook, Crowed Steelbook, uh, News of the World. So no, these ones, let's see the other side though. There's probably some more stuff over here, uh, I'm thinking, let's see. That's over here. Yeah, here's some of the other ones. Marksman here. That one is a $27.99 for that one. And I like this one a lot. This one is definitely uh, worth checking out. Let's see, what are these ones here? Empty. Oh, so these are gone. A Saul Steelbook. I, I don't know if they sold out already or they didn't put them out yet. But the Saul Steelbook was going to be uh, only 18 So it's basically, it's only uh, $2 more for the Steelbook. So that's not a bad price for that one. So it's $18.99 for the Steelbook, $16.99 for their standard 4K of it. Uh, like I said, I don't know if those may be sold out or they might not have put them out yet, but let's take a look right here as well. And I was seeing a couple other things over here that were new that I didn't see last week. Like I saw, uh, this one came out King Kong from Scream Factory. So always really cool to see Scream Factory things in here. Uh, other than that though, here new, trying to see what else is in here. I see uh, mixed in down here. Uh, this one was, I cannot figure out how to pronounce this one. I, I remembered how to do it at one point and now I have totally forgotten. So I'm not even gonna try and say it. I say it totally wrong. Uh, Versa Rosso, that was last Tuesday. And they do have the Donnie Darko uh, 4K here as well. That one is $32.99 for that one. Uh, but other than that, like I said, just looking through here, seeing if there's anything else different. Not seeing anything else. Did I, I don't know if I showed this yet. The Big Fish. Uh, that one came out last Tuesday. The Big Fish uh, 4K for $21.99 for that one. Like I said, just looking through here. Doesn't look like anything else different here that I'm seeing. I don't think I showed this one yet, too. This came out a couple weeks back. The Dread uh, 4K Steelbook. I really like this movie, too. I thought this was a really, really cool film, but that's definitely a very cool uh, Steelbook for Dread. Well, I'm back home now, and I'm just going to show you guys, like, all the stuff that I'm bringing. There's still even more stuff in the one car, like all these different sodas. But over here is, like, all them stuff that I'm taking into the hotel room, like the wardrobe, the chargers, and everything. But here's, like, the big cooler and everything that I got. And there's like, all different types of snacks in here. Creamers, the temperature thing, sugars, all that type of stuff. And then here's the mask in here. My dad, like, put together this... Thing. These are the very breakable masks that are in here, so I have to keep them really specific way. Like cords, chargers, uh, and there's a bunch of stuff for like the party scene there. Uh, towels, you know, sanitizers, all that kind of stuff. Plates, uh, ba big giant bag of candy. And there's all these different snacks over here. Goldfish, multi-pack. And this is all just going to be for the first few days where we have to be replenishing that stuff a lot. Uh, there's like a mixed pack thing down there, like 30 pack of different things. We bought a, a Keurig machine here. It's like an individual K-cup, so everyone has like their own uh, K-cup things. The cups, paper towels, uh, coffee things for the coffees. And then out in the garage, too, there's a few other things that we're taking. I'll show you guys. This is in the back. See, I don't even know if you can see them right now, but in the back, actual seat back there, there is you know, some sodas and stuff like that in here. I don't even know if you can see them right now, but it's a whole bunch of sodas in there as well and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely a lot of different things uh, that, you know, that I'm bringing. It's all going to be so squeezed in the car. But anyway though, guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also though, leave me comments below though, letting me know, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, if you guys ended up picking up anything today. Uh, and also too, let me know what you guys thought of the, uh, thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. But anyway though, guys, now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shop Factory Scream Factory line. This is the brand new collector's edition here of King Kong. This is the 19, it was 1978 King Kong, which was, you know, produced by Dino De Laurentiis. 
And this one stars Jeff Bridges, uh, Charles Grodin, and Jessica Lange. This was her first film, or she was introduced in this film. Uh, but this is, a, I, I really like this movie. This is, you know, you know, like I said, this was the remake of King Kong. They made a sequel to this one as well. But you know, I think it was, it was King Kong Lives. But I love this movie. It's basically the same story. It was like modernized to like the 70s. And it's about, you know, going to the island and everything. And then finding King Kong there. And King Kong falling in love with Jessica Lange's character. And all that stuff. It is a really, really fun movie. I've watched, I remember like watching this movie all the time as a kid. Like, I, I remember like, the, se the sequel was not great, I remember. But I remember like this one, I was like, it was one of those movies. There was like a certain, you know, group of movies that as a kid that I would always go and rent again and again and again. And this is one of those ones, I remember at Blockbuster, like consistently going and renting this one all the time. I always really loved this one, so really glad to have a Blu-ray of this one. Now on here though, this one is a two-disc set, so it's featuring the theatrical cut as well as the extended broadcast television cut of the film. And that's what I really like is a lot of releases now are starting to have the TV cuts of movies. I think that's a really cool thing because the TV cuts usually had uh, some alternate scenes and they would, sometimes they would shoot, you know, for a TV version, they would shoot like different, like, you know, censor certain things or shoot things certain, you know, differently. Or if they cut stuff out of it, they had to extend it to make it longer. So that's what they, why they would add it for the TV to make it long enough for the two hour uh, time with the commercials and all that stuff. I think that's really cool that they're doing that a lot. You know, releases are starting to have the TV cuts and everything. Also on here, though, it's a 2K uh, scan of the additional TV footage. So that's really cool. It's, it was scanned in 2K. These, this looks great here. It has the um, restored theatrical audio, radio spots, uh, TV spots, theatrical trailer, and still galleries. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here. And it has, like I said, the theatrical cut as well as the, um, the television cut of the film here uh, as well. The next one here I got is from Universal. And this is one I really like. It's a new Liam Neeson film that he stars in called The Mark. I like this one, and it was a little bit more, um, a little bit more low key, you know. Um you know, when it comes to some of the ones that he's done that are real, like, crazy, like, with taking the action was, like, in, in intense. This one is a little bit more low-key, but still has a lot of really cool action stuff in here, and uh, with what's going on. Like, it's not as much, like, action, it's more, like, drama, but people coming after him and stuff, but I like this a lot. It's basically, though, about Liam Neeson's character, and, like, what was he doing? He was, like, he lived down in Arizona, and I, and I think he was kind of, like, driving around, and he was right by the border to Mexico, and he saw this mother, uh, you know, and, um, her son that were, you know, escaping through the border and they were coming through uh, the fence and there are these, like, guys, they were coming after them, like, these drug uh, cartel guys that were coming after them, you know, trying to kill them. And basically, though, she ends up getting shot and, you know, he ends up taking the son and uh, it turns out, though, like, the, these cartels are, are coming into America to try and get this kid. Gets a whole, becomes this whole big thing and Liam Neeson has to try and, you know, protect this kid and keep him safe and try and keep them away from them and everything like that. And it, like I said, there's a lot of intense stuff in here, but this is one I definitely recommend you guys check this out. I thought this one was really, really good. Uh, it has on here, though, feature-wise, a making of the marksman on this one. But like I said, definitely check this one out. If you guys have seen this one, too, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, the other one here from Universal as well. This is a movie which stars Robin Wright, and she also directed this film as well. And it also stars Damien Ricard, and it's called Land. And this one was... um. It's basically, though, one of those movies where you find out more about Robin Wright's character and everything as this goes along, but it's essentially, it starts with her, like, basically selling off all of her belongings, and she's, like, at the bank, she's getting all this money, and she's decided that she's gonna go and live off in the land. She's basically, something has happened, and she's just kind of like, I'm done with it all, I'm getting this cabin that's literally out in the middle of nowhere, there's, like, nothing around, she has to find this guy in the town that's, like, far away from the town, it's way too far, you couldn't walk to this town where this is, it's, like, too far out, and basically she finds this guy in the town and you know pays him to you know to bring food to her and everything like that while she's living out there. He just basically gives him all this money and says, "I want you to come every month or something like that, bring new food and bring supplies. I don't want you telling anyone up here. I don't want to. I don't want a telephone. I want nothing." She basically wants uh, when he comes, uh, she's like, "Please don't tell me anything about the news. Nothing. He doesn't, you don't want to know about anything." Uh, and it basically, what ends up happening though is, uh, you know, without ruining anything, it becomes a bad winter and something happens, and she ends up like in a bad situation, and then she ends up coming across Damon. Ricard's character and it's a, it's a it's a really well done movie it's a very sad film and everything but really really well done uh, on here though feature wise it has some featurettes on here like Crafting Land Robin Wright film and uh, film director to debut on this one here as well and also the featurette After the Trauma on this one 
The next one here, this is from um, from uh, Disney, and this is uh, Disney's Raya, The Last Dragon. Uh, this is a really cool movie. This is, you know, um, and, and it's basically, though, about, like, the idea of the story was, in the beginning of the film, it was, like, five, was it 500 years before, there was, like, all of these, like, dragons. Like, dragons, like, live with everyone in the world, and there was all these different types of dragons, and they had to, like, protect, it was like they were protecting uh, against, like, this bad dragon. There was, I think, it was, was it a bad, some kind of a bad dragon thing? I think, I, I'm blanking on what it was, but they were protecting from this one thing, and, and something, and, and because the thing was like turning uh, the people into stones and stuff like that, so the dragons were protecting them. Yeah, there was like the thing that was like the bad kind of dragon creature thing. And essentially, though, in the beginning of this movie, uh, it's like all the dragons have disappeared and had died and everything. It was kind of like um, uh, they, you know, believed that there was no dragons left in this world. And then they end up discovering that there is one dragon because what ends up happening there was like this crystal uh, that they have to protect that keeps the, the bad thing from coming back to life and getting them. But then there's like all the different people of the world after the dragons died they all like separate and they all have their own different groups and stuff like that and essentially though the dragon the bad dragon gets brought back to life and they end up having to try and figure out how to stop it and find a good this good dragon out there and that's the, the girl uh, is trying to find the dragon that's that's essentially you know what it is and because the bad things come back is you know starting to turn people into stone again and everything and on here though uh, feature wise this has on here uh, the uh, bonus film Us Again, uh, the theatrical short film. It has uh, outtakes, uh, deleted scenes, uh, Taste of Rhea, uh, Take a Virtual uh, Roundtable with Kelly Marie uh, Tran and the filmmakers, uh, you know, Rhea Bring It Home, See How the Film Was Made for uh, Over 450 Homes, uh, Martial Artists, Learn About the Film's Martial Artists, um, and more. And, and, you know, and Fun Facts, Easter Eggs. So lots of different features on this one here uh, as well. The next one here, uh, this is from um, the Criterion Collection. And this is a... Uh, Really, was really excited about this release. Uh, this is an amazing movie. I, I've watched this movie throughout the years so many times, and you guys know too. I like movies that have scenes in malls. This movie has mall scenes, so I always love movies with mall scenes. I love the cast in here: Phoebe Cates, uh, you know, um, uh, Sean Penn, Jennifer Jason Lee, Judge Reinhold. Uh, this is like Ray Watson. You know, just a really, really great cast. And this is the Fast Times for Rismount High. And this is the brand new, you know, um, uh, edition here of it, and it's got a lot of really cool features. But I love the design and everything on this. This one. And if you guys have never seen this movie, it's basically all about uh, these people in high school, and it's about the, these two guys, and the one guy likes Jennifer Jason Lee, uh, and it's kind of like. Um it's basically him trying to get with her and everything and then kind of like follows around uh, the one Judge Rhino's character who works at like this McDonald's type place and he's having all sorts of problems and everything. And it's just basically following around these characters and Jennifer Jason Lee's character though, her, her goal is to lose her virginity and she's kind of talking to Phoebe Cates about like things and getting tips and all these kind of stuff. It's a, it's a great movie. It's one of those films that if you guys have never watched this one, this is like one of those things you just have to go out and watch this finally because it's one of those things that's an absolute, when it comes to like 80s, this I think of this as like the pivotal 80s film and everything but on here though this is newly restored in four newly restored 4k digital transfer on here it has audio commentary from 2000 uh, from 1999 featuring amy heckling and screenwriter cameron crow it has the television version of the film from the 80s featuring deleted and alternate scenes like i said i really love that there's all these like movies getting television releases lately it has a new conversation with heckling and crow moderated by filmmaker olivia wilde it has reliving our fast Friends version of high a 1999 documentary uh, that was a documentary i think that was the one that was on the original dvd back in the day I think that was what that one was on. It also has a plus an introduction by Cameron Crowe and an essay by film critic Dana Stevens. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here. Here's a look, though, inside. And there's also a booklet in here, you know, with pictures about, you know, pictures from the film and stuff about the cast, Phoebe Cates, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. And yeah, Phoebe Cates, though, like, I've been a fan of her forever. I always, I just wish she would have done more movies and everything. Uh, you know, um, Drop Dead Fred, like, I, I love that movie. Like, I, 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 that Drop Dead Fred is probably, like, one of my top favorite movies of all time. I'm not gonna lie. Like, probably in, like, the top, top, like, 30 list. I love that movie so much. Sean Penn in there and everything. You know, uh, if I'm here and you're here, isn't it our time? I don't know. Just, it's a great movie. Definitely one you guys have got to check out. Like I guess if you guys have not seen it. Uh, the next one here, this one is from uh, Warner Brothers. And they sent over a free copy. This one, let you guys know this one is available. And this is the um, the second season here of The Alienist. The Alienist. And this is Alienist, uh, Angel of Darkness. This is a show with uh, Dakota Fanning. And it's basically, though, uh, Dakota Fanning's character has started up this like uh, agency where it's kind of like an investigation, detective agency, and kind of like looking into... Um, 
you know, murders and stuff like that. And they kind of are looking into, you know, stuff that, you know, pe like the police and stuff are not really solving. And like, there's like these, these murders that are going all around. And they're usually, this show deals with really bad kind of murders too. Like really, you know, out there kind of crazy, terrible, terrible stuff that's going on. And they're basically trying to solve uh, these cases. It's a really, really good show. Really, really well done and everything. Uh, it has on here though, uh, feature wise, it has Inside of the Alienist, Angel of Darkness, a uh, feature on here, uh, Building the World, Addressing a Modern Woman, and Walking the Set to 2.0 with Luke Evans on this one here uh, as well. And the next one I got here is from RLJ Entertainment. This one is also a Shudder uh, original film. This is a movie which stars Andy Ma uh, Matic, uh, Match. I think it's Matichek. I think it's Matichek, and then um, Emil Hirsch. And it's a movie here called Sun. And this is basically though, this is like a crazy concept of a movie. It starts off with like this cult in the beginning and everything. You see like this weird cult of people. And essentially though, this girl's son, like she ends up walking in one that one night, and there's like these weird people there, like they were like trying to like steal the son. These like this weird group of people and it's essentially though she's trying to figure out exactly you know what was going on and then they like ran off and everything and right after this had happened these weird people around the son got like strangely sick like he was like acting really weird weird things were starting to happen to him he was getting like these rashes on his face he was starting to like, like go into like these coma to like states and stuff like that and it's kind of like what is going on and then like all of a sudden he's like better and it's happening again it's like this whole big thing and then you like see this cult around these weird people around it's kind of like what is going on here and it's a really really cool concept of a film and some creepy stuff on this one on here though feature wise this one has a deleted scenes i'm sorry sorry not uh, yes yeah, it has deleted scenes and also has interviews with the cast and crew on the film uh as well the next one here this one is from moviezing.com and i have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price this is another film this is definitely in my top 20 movies i watched this movie so many times you know this was you know directed by jamie babbitt uh she also did that movie um was it called like was it secret or i can't remember the other one that she did uh right after this was a really cool movie you don't hear about too much the one actress who was, who was in the remake to One Miss Call. But this movie here is uh, releasing the director's cut because this movie had like was notorious for back in the day. Uh, it was being it was edited by the MPA for really bad. Re you know they cut stuff out of it because the MPA was like being. I don't know, they were just being really bad to this movie back in the day. They were being, I don't know, they were picking it apart and they were like, um, because it was a story dealing with lesbians and stuff like that, they were censoring it and this whole thing, it was very inappropriate. So now it's finally available in the director's cut, which is great. I'm so glad it's finally available now in the way it was supposed to have been seen before it got cut back in the day and everything when this originally came out. But this is the, um, like I said, the director's cut here of But I'm a Cheerleader, which is directed by, you know, like I said, uh, by Jamie Babbitt with stars uh, Natasha Lyonne, Cleo Duvall, uh, RuPaul, who was amazing in this movie uh and it also has uh kathy Mor morenity you know who uh, is it morenity morenity you know who was in um the movie neighbors and lots of stuff i've always been a fan of her and this is basically though like i said i love this movie this is about natasha lone's character who is in school and then she you know she has her boyfriend and everything and the friend her other friends and stuff this is also one of michelle williams early films as well but her friends are all kind of starting to think that you know because she doesn't really is very affectionate with her boyfriend and everything so they kind of become convinced that she's a lesbian so then they end up you know, send their parents find out about this, and then they send her to a gay rehabilitation camp. And this is done, you know, as like a, you know they you know it's kind of a, is it done in in a comedy kitschy kind of way. The the way the camp is with the colors, like the color schemes and the designs of these houses and everything is amazing. I mean, it is absolutely some of the best work on and everything about this. The the way this movie flows, uh, the 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 story, it's like just a perfect movie, honestly. But it's basically though she goes there, and then uh, you know it's this this whole pro program that they have to go through but then she ends up meeting Cleo Duvall's character and then you know falls in love with her and it's kind of like she's trying to figure out what she's going to do because she's worried that her, if she doesn't you know uh, you know her parents are not going to basically disown her and everything and this has a great cast there's also people in here like um who else was in here it was um you know um i'm blanking you know um the actor who played rufio is in here i'm blanking right now i'm I'm super crapped out but I'm, I'm i'm blanking on some names but who else was in there lots of character actors are in here as well but like i said um definitely you guys if you haven't seen this check this out it has on here though it has a but i'm a cheerleader class reunion making of but i'm a cheerleader in 1999 but i'm a composer a chat with pat Irwin, a student film discharge uh, has a commentary track on here with jamie babbitt uh you know as well as the costume designer and the production designer on this one here as well uh 
the next one here, uh, this is from Severin Films. And this is a movie that I had always heard about, and I finally saw this, and it is a crazy, out there, super trippy movie. It's a movie here called Santa Sangre. Sangre? Sangre? I'm, I know I'm saying that totally wrong, but this is the 4K Ultra HD edition here. This one has the, the UHD, the 4K version. It has the Blu-ray version of the film. It also has a disc three on here. But this is a movie that's very hard to explain, but it's basically, though, it's a very surrealist film. And it's, a, and it's like... It has like stuff to do with circuses and everything, and it's about like this this legend of this woman whose like arms were cut off, and they th kind of worship her as this god. And so it's like this kid who's like at this circus that his mother is at, and like the mother like had worships this like statue of this woman whose arms were removed, and then they like they tear down the church and everything, and then the mother is like cheating on the the one husband, and the husband is this crazy looking guy, is like this crazy look, and he ends up like cutting off the mother's her the wife's arms, and then like. It's like crazy, and then like the son is like there's like these killing things that happen. There's like I said these crazy big scenes of like all these different extras and like these this the most surreal. It's like one of those movies that feels like a dream. It's one of those films that really plays out like a dream, just all the weirdness of everything in it. And on here though, uh, feature wise, it has a um, the feature film feature of the film a commentary track on here with the director uh, has on here a new introduction by the director, deleted scenes with with director commentary, theatrical trailer, uh, forget everything you ever seen, the world of Santa Sangre the feature length documentary uh, interview on here with the producer uh, Claudio Argento interview with the cinematographer interview with the executive producer interview with the editor so lots of features on here interview with the screenwriter the 30th anniversary uh, celebration at the uh, Marco Mar Mar Mexico uh, Film Festival on here so uh, some short films Simon Boswell interviews on here Simon Boswell did the music on this one as well his music is great as well he also the one music that I always liked too was the music that he did in um you know, um, what was that one? A Shallow Grave, that, the um, Danny Boyle movie. I always liked that music in that. That was, I felt like that was kind of like underrated uh, music in that, the music in that film. And here's a look though inside here at the discs and everything. And then here's a look though on the at the back and stuff. But like, like I said, this is a great, great release on here. And it also has in here too like some art cards and stuff like that. Like this elephant on here. That elephant scene was a little intense, so I'll say <laughs> that was a little that was a little hard to watch the elephant thing in here. Uh, I, I I never I have a hard time with stuff like any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and then um and here's another one on here. But like I said, a really interesting, very trippy and very out there movie. And if you guys like really out there like really well shot art films and very with very surrealist vibes and stuff like that what this is one i would definitely ch recommend you check out and also 4k wise uh severin did an amazing job cleaning this up like looks amazing here on 4k so i'm glad i saw it for the first time on 4k the next one's here from severin films as well and these are both uh really fun like crazy killer animal movies and the first one this is a movie that i i, I always like this movie because i remember you know, when I first got this movie at a store, which I loved beyond words, called Blowout Video. And I don't know if any of you guys know of that. There was, I think, a couple other places called that that, like, took the name. But there was really, like, a chain of a place called Blowout Video. They had one of them in Florida in an outlet center. that was right next to a big dog shop. Uh, and, then, and then they had another one uh, in New York City right by, uh, ti in Times Square, underneath of MTV's building, I believe. Right near the Sparrow. So if any of you guys remember that store and were in there, just know this is the, that was this. This was the first time I ever saw this movie. I remember this is the first thing I ever bought in there was this movie. And I, I remember like how much I loved that store because it was a great store of all these movies and stuff. And it was right around the time when DVDs were new. So it was really cool when I was like buying like crazy in that place back in the day. Uh, but like if any of you guys remember that, let me know though. I'm really curious if like very many people actually remember that place. But this is one here called Day of the Animals. And this is the one... Like I said, that I ended up getting at Blowout Video. I wish I had a DVD or something that, that showed you guys the sticker for Blowout Video, like their price and stuff on it, because I kept one of them. You know what I mean? Just because like, I, I have to remember that place. But this is one with a, and Leslie Nielsen in here too. This one stars Leslie Nielsen, and he's like crazy. Like I love Leslie Nielsen when he plays these bad guy kind of roles and like crazy kind of characters. And this one is basically though about you know something had happened and the animals had gone crazy because around in the in the, this was in '76 and around this time they were doing a lot of like food for the gods and a lot of like crazy. Crazy giant animal movies or killer animals and animals going crazy, that type of stuff. Uh, and on here, though, this one has uh, Nightmare USA author Stephen Thrower and the creator of distributor, um, uh, you know, Edward Monroe, an interview on here. 
uh, on here with one of the actors, some uh, more actor interviews. Something was out there. Day of the Animals, Thirty Minutes Later, featurette, commentary with the actors on here, commentary track with uh, Lee Gambin, author of Massacred by Mother Nature, alternate opening title sequence uh, for Something Is Out There, uh, radio spots, uh, TV spots, and trail. I think I actually remembered under that other title uh, as well. And then the other one here, and the sequel to this one just came out recently. Like the sequel was made years and years ago, and they only just finished it now and like added this really weird stock footage of like a modern it's like you can tell the movie was shot in the 80s and they added like modern day rave footage in there it's like the most weirdest thing you've ever seen in your life i'm like why did they not get old stock footage why did they get like brand new stock footage because you can get old stock footage so that was very strange but uh this is the original film and this was grizzly and this is a great uh killer you know um bear film like i love these kind of killer you know ant killer animal type films this is basically like this killer bear bear that's going you know um crazy out in the woods and it's you know it, it was also too uh this is 76 as well like i said they were doing a lot of these killer animal movies right around when jaws 2 came out that kind of started the whole trend of doing a lot more of these killer animal movies and they were kind of doing all the different types that they could and stuff like that but this is a really really cool one uh and you know great stuff with the bear too like stuff with this trained bear in this movie uh, and on here though this has making movies a commentary track with here with interview with and business partner uh, uh partner and friend of uh, patrick uh kelly uh has th uh, uh throwing fury interview with one of the actors on here, uh, interview on here with the producer, uh, inter uh, Conte track on here with Mondo Digital's Nathan Thompson and film writer uh, Troy Horworth, uh, the making of the wilderness vintage, making of featurette, Jaws with Claws, archival featurette. So like I said, lots of features on these releases here. And the next one I got here is from Blue Underground, and this is one that I just want you guys to know was available. This is the brand new limited edition here, 4K Ultra HD, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, as well as a CD of the film uh, The Final Countdown. This has a really cool uh, lenticular cover here. So you can see it. You can see like the ship going into the time warp and everything like that. So you can see it. it's very, very cool. I love when they do these. They did a really cool one for a zombie with the eye going in, and they had a lot of different variations. So I love that Blue Underground does these. These are really, really cool covers. I love lenticular covers that do this when they move and stuff like that. And like I said, this one stars uh, Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, and James Furentino. And this one um, has on here though, uh, feature-wise, it's a commentary track on here with the director of photography. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman goes to holiday uh, to Hollywood. Uh, interview with associate producer Lloyd Kaufman, uh, starring the Jollies, interview with the Jolly uh, Rogers uh, F-14 uh, Fire Squadron, as theatrical trailer, TV spots, poster and still gallery. It also has on here the uh, the uh, final countdown, original motion picture soundtrack on this one, uh, on here, as well as a collector of a booklet on here with a Zero Pilot Journal. And I'll show you guys though a look here inside. And this is a, a three-disc a set, so it has the, uh, the you know, the... Um, 4K Ultra HD, then it has the Blu-ray, and then it also has the CD. And this is cool CD has, has like the rim around it like that. Very, very cool release here. And here's a look though at the booklet with some pictures from the movie about the cast, all that stuff here as well. Like I said though, just want you guys to know this one was available uh, from Blue Underground. And the next one's here. Uh, this one is um, from 4 Digital Media. And this is a movie here called uh, tw uh, 24 uh, tw 2149 uh, 49 uh, the aftermath and <laughs> it's a movie here uh and it's a, a movie that stars nick krauss it's a pretty cool science fiction movie like there was a cool concept of this because it's basically like this guy who was like it's something in the world had changed and like uh certain people like the world like kind of like a lot of people had died off and like certain people were sent into space to kind of control things and they have to watch certain things and then they get like sent videos of their parents or their family saying oh how's it going are you doing this and all this and this is basically a guy who's like strapped in this chair and he's like pushing these buttons controlling these things and everything and it's like this self-contained thing he's basically like, like trapped in this place he they give him like this weird food that he eats it comes out of this machine it's like a very weird like clinical weird thing of him almost like he's a robot at first you just feel like he's a robotic kind of guy kind of tied into this whole thing and essentially though the something happens and then the air gets screwed up and he has to basically leave and go on this mission to try and figure out how he can repair it and everything it's like him going out into the world and everything it's a really interesting uh science fiction film here like i said this is 121 49 the aftermath uh, the next one here, uh, this one is from, uh, was this from uh, from MPI Home Video, and this is a uh, very early Charles Bronson show. This was from 
what year was this originally from this show was it the 50s or this no, from 58 and this is a film called a man with a camera and this is the um the complete series of the show and this is basically about charles bronson going around and he his character is a like photographer so he goes and it's kind of him trying to get the scoop get the story and take it these like you know pictures and stuff like that and it, it's all kinds of crimes or certain type of things and stuff like that and it's him going taking the photos of it and everything but a pretty cool a show very different charles bronson to see him when he was younger because when you think of charles bronson you think of him from you know the um uh, why am I, bl I, I see when you do this when you're crapped out, I, I'm blanking on a lot of stuff right now, name wise. Uh, Death Wish, uh, on Death Wish, and then uh, 12 to Midnight, uh, and a lot of those ones. 12 to Midnight, I really love that one as well. Uh, this one, the next one here, this is from. Um, from Epic Pictures, and it's a movie here called The Winter Lake. And this is basically, though, about this kid who's, like, you know, uh, living out with his mother and stuff like that. He was out there with his mother, and basically, though, uh, I think it was his mother, he ends up, you know, meeting this girl uh, when he moves into this new area. And the girl, like, he likes this girl, and, like, she's kind of acting a little strange, and she's talking about, like, how there was this, like, river kind of lake thing in the back, and how, like, it swallows things up, and, like, something had happened in there, and she put something into this lake. And it's kind of like it becomes this very very thing about when he he discovers about it and everything and it kind of the movie takes this crazy turn uh what's going on it's a very very heavy drama character piece film but really really well acted uh here like i said this one here is called the winter lake and the next one's here these ones are all from uh, vinegar syndrome and there's some really really cool uh releases here this is one that i remember seeing this one years back like this is from 1991 and this one has a great cast and it was you know directed by anson williams who was from happy days uh you know was the actor in happy days and was, was he fun was he pot see i can't remember who he was on there what's his, his character's name was it ralph mal on there i can't remember but i know he was on uh happy days and then it also has on here though uh, christopher walken on here uh it's basically though it's a movie here called an all american um all american murder like I said, I remember seeing this one really well. I think I saw, like, I must have, like, got a DVD of it or something back in the day at, like, uh, Tower Records or something. Something like that. I, like, I remember seeing this, and I cannot remember when. Maybe it was on, like, USA Up All Night or something like that. But it's basically, though, about, like, this kid, and he ends up getting, like, framed for this girl that had died in this fire. And Christopher Walken's, like, looking into the whole thing and kind of, like, stalking him. And it's kind of like, who is the real killer? And he has, this kid has to try and clear his name, you know, and, and people all looking at him bad because of the whole thing. But it's a really cool movie movie this one is newly scanned and rescored in 2k from its original 35 millimeter inner positive it has a commentary track on here with the hysteria continues so i always love their commentaries uh it has on here an interview with the uh one of the actors on here uh an interview with the cinematographer on this one and the other ones here is one another one that i remember back in the day uh, this is from 89 and this is one um that was um directed by kevin tenney who you know also directed night of the demons and witch trap and it's a movie here called The Cellar. This is a really cool movie as well. Uh, and this is basically, though, about this people family that moved into this new house. And they kind of had heard, like, the rumors of, like, the basement. And there was something in the cellar. And, like, don't mess around there. And then one person that lived around there was telling them about the, the origin and the story about this whole thing. And it's basically, though, you see, like, bubbly stuff coming out of the ground and stuff like that. It's very creepy. And you know, like, something is down in the cellar. And basically, though, there, there is, you know, what's down in the cellar. It's a, it's a cool movie. Has on here, though, newly restored and scanned. And 2K for 35 millimeter uh, camera negative at the director's personal 35 millimeter lab print. So it's the director's personal print of the film has on here two versions of the film: the theatrical version uh, as well as the unseen director's cut. On here has a group commentary on both versions with Kevin Tenney, uh, C uh, Susan Save, and Patrick Kilpatrick. Uh, also has on here an introduction by the director. Has um, what is this one? The chicken. Uh, to the salad, uh, earthing the lost cell, our brand new extended making of documentary. So making of documentary on here with uh, docu you know interviews with the cast and crew on this one here, and the other one. This is part of the homegrown uh, set. Uh, they sent over the one uh, disc from the set, but this is like there's two other movies in this set. And this is one here called Final Exam, and this is like a really fun. This is like was like make like giving me like a reminder too that like they make like we're making like true micro budget movies back in the 80s as well. Like this is like a, has a like a real super micro budget vibe to this one. One. like especially with some of the acting and stuff is like some funny like bad acting in this and it's basically though about like a group of these college students who are given this assignment to spend the night in this like haunted kind of house and like they have to kind of like in the class is all about studying like psychology and supernatural things and that type of stuff and it's basically them going there and of course weird sort of things start to happen and everything when they get there it's a fun movie though this is um newly restored and scanned in 2k for its original thick 16 millimeter negative on here it has a group a group commentary track on here a brand new 
extended making of documentary featuring interviews with the cast and crew on this one here uh, as well. And the next one here, this is one that I want you guys to know that was available from the MVD Rewind collection. This is a movie here called Drive. This stars um, Mark Dukakis, uh, you know, um, Kaden Har uh, Harrison, and Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy, too, like, out of all the people that have passed away, that Brittany Murphy's death, death, like, bothers me, like, all the time. I was, like, such a huge fan of Brittany Murphy with everything, you know, from, uh, you know, Clueless to The Dead Girl, which was a great movie. I mean, there are so many great movies with Brittany Murphy that I loved. I, I, Brittany Murphy is, like, probably one of my most most missed actresses or actors are and next to John Candy and then Chris Farley. Like I'm such a fan of Brittany Murphy. Uh, this one has on here though. Like I said, this is the part of the Rewind collection. It has the really cool, you know, aged uh, slip cover on here, and it has on here like uh, picture rated R, be kind, rewind, action. And like I said, it's all aged on the side here. I love the way these are designed and on here, and it, and it has a tons of different features on this release. It has on here though uh, the, some of the new. It has tons of stuff. It had um the um, high definition presentation of the extended director's cut. Uh, and aspect expect ratio um, from the two, uh, 4K HD scan of the original camera and negative on here. Has a commentary track on here with the director. It has the uh, drive force, the behind the storm documentary, a 47 minute documentary. Six deleted scenes on here. Interview gallery with the cast and crew. Uh, you know, drive theatrical cut with optional subtitles. So sub 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 has the theatrical cut of the film, you know, as well as theatrical trailer. And then also in here too, it has a um, mini poster. And that's the other thing too. I'll show you guys too the reversible artwork here. Here. This is the um, alternate image on here as well for the film. But in here, though, it has a mini poster. That's what's really cool with the Rewind collections. They usually uh, have uh, mini posters for the film in, as well uh, in them. So definitely a cool uh, a film here. Like I said, just want you guys to know this one was available from the MVD uh, Rewind collection. And the next one I got here is from Cleopatra Entertainment. This is one that I want you guys to know was available. This is a film here called Scavenger. And this one has the uh, Blu-ray as well as a CD soundtrack to the film. This is essentially like a Mad Max kind of post-apocalyptic film, you know, mixed with like, it has sort of like Hills Have Eyes kind of vibes in there with like gore and stuff like that. But it's basically though about this uh, girl who's going and pretty much trying to get revenge on the people that had killed, you know, her family and find the people and track them down and everything. But it also deals with like organ harvesting and all this terrible stuff. Basically like, you know, this is a bad future. Very, very terrible stuff going on. And on here though, this has the theatrical trail of the image slideshow. It has the dubbed version of the film and it also has a Sp original Spanish language audio on here. And like I was saying, it has the, um, the soundtrack as as well as the the blu-ray of the film and then in here too it has back here like the list of all the stuff that's on the soundtrack so you can see like the artists and stuff like that that are on the uh, soundtrack here so definitely cool it's always cool too when you get the soundtrack included you know with the release and everything and clay petra does that a lot you know for their uh, releases the next one here, uh, this is from uh, from uh, Wild Eye releasing. It's a movie here called Bigfoot's Bride. This this is a fun movie. It's basically though about like Bigfoot, uh, but like Bigfoot almost like done is like instead of being like the typical, where it's like Bigfoot could be bad or something like that, or people trying to find Bigfoot. This is like Bigfoot where Bigfoot is like crazy and he's like a, almost like killing people because he likes doing it and like all this kind of crazy killer Bigfoot, like more just like he likes to kill. And then he also likes this like falls in love with this woman that he sees. And it's basically though about a group of these campers that are all out there trying to like you know g deal with Bigfoot while Bigfoot's trying to kill them and everything it's a really fun fun movie uh, and it says on here such a strange mix of uh, mix of styles it feels like it crawled out of a grindhouse yeah it, it has like definitely like grindhouse feel and all that stuff but on here, though, it has bonus trailers on this one here. Uh, the next one here, this is from uh, SRS Cinema. It's a movie here called The House on Cuckoo Lane. And this is basically about these guys. What's cool, too, is these guys definitely like um, Blu-rays and DVDs. Like, they had, to, like, it, they, they filmed this in, like, a room like this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, with tons and tons of movies, like, all over the place. And they're just sitting there going, oh, so a movie that we we're going to find the type. And they're basically, like, talking about, like, they're going to find the lost, um, the type, the type is called Cursed Type. We're going to find the Cursed Type. And so let's talk about the Cursed Tape. And basically, there's like tons of scenes of them just sitting there talking about trying to find this tape. And then they like end up, you know, um, they find out that this tape that they really want to find, that's like this cursed thing, is in is basically at the house where the tape was said to have been made. And they're actually going there to try and, you know, find this tape. And of course, it's not, not going to go well and everything. And on here, though, this has a commentary track, bonus short uh, trailers, and, and some uh, more bonus features on here uh, as well. And the last one here, this is from... Uh, um, R squared, R, R squared, <laughs> and it's a movie with uh, well, starring Bill Obers Jr. as Tickles the Clown, and this is uh, this is an interesting kind of movie. The way that it was done, 
it's like um it's like a mixture of like of cgi mixed with animation mixed with like all this kind of stuff because it's like people like re some real life characters and then like full digital characters but then like digital backgrounds for things and then like these digital ships and stuff like that it's like a crazy kind of concept of how the whole thing is done it was put together and like the clown has this like weird movement like when it's moving it's like oh i'm doing this it's like it's like kind of freaky it's like kind of back and forth in, the, in an animated form i think it was like motion capture something the way they were doing that but it's basically though like um about like this this clown it's, it's it's kind of like in space and problems with this clown and all that's going on in this spaceship and stuff like that it's very very hard to explain but it was an interesting kind of thing it's just basically about this bad clown in space and stuff like that but like i said this one here is called uh, tickles the clown but anyway though guys that was all for the review portion of this video thanks again for watching and subscribing i'll see you guys later